How you doing trappers? Ed Snyder with Kansas Trapline Products. Hey, found this great video back from when I was in the north woods of Maine. We were going through a very dry period. No rain in the forecast. I will say there that uh, dirt holes up in Maine uh, will fill up with water. And uh, if you're living out east, I don't have to tell you that. You already know that. Uh, that type of thing. But we were in a dry period. And... Uh, I had a nice uh, beaver dam uh, crossover type of an area, had a nice trail uh, going along uh, along there, and uh, they don't allow entanglement uh, in Maine. You don't want to have that, and uh, and it's there to protect the uh, it's there to protect the animal, but it's specifically it's I think it's for the lynx that if you were to catch a lynx, you need to be able to. Uh, let the authorities release the lynx unharmed. So having anything entangled would be a problem. So, and another thing is there's a lot of uh, uh, bird hunters running the woods, uh, running the roads up there in the north woods. So, I'm, I, you know, where I wanted to set was actually along the roads there, but honestly, I, I couldn't get to everywhere uh, before uh, I'd have hunters prying upon uh, a lot of my catch, so I elected to go ahead and find these uh, pockets of opportunity like that. So it takes me a little while to get this little dirt hole set put in. What I love about this set is notice the contrast in color uh, of the of the beautiful fall colors of the of the of the grass. Combine that with the rich dark color of the soil. Uh, this makes an outstanding contrasting color. Uh, that black dirt hole set will catch the eye of any fox or bobcat or coyote coming across there. And you can catch all three in the north woods of Maine, without a doubt, or in, in many parts of Maine, So, including the fisher. So uh, that's why this also made such great sense in this location. So like always, if you like these types of videos, uh, hit that like button and smash that subscribe button. Uh, help me grow this channel. Love having you along until we meet again. Tight chains, trappers. Okay, trappers, um, here in Maine, and uh, I really like uh, this set location here. I got a beaver dam behind me, a nice trail crossover. I think it's possibly a good spot to catch a cat. Um, now here in Maine, I can't let the animal get around a rooted tree of any substantial size, so I'm here in the grass area. It's kind of hard to beat grass. Predators eat a lot of mice. And um, so I'm gonna go ahead here and kind of make an abbreviated RJ set. I gotta be a little careful here with the rain. And of course there's gonna be a lot more roots here. I think I'll move the camera behind me so you can see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Okay, I think that's better. So anyway, just chopping this out. Kinda of like a peat moss in a way. I don't know if that's what it is, but just a lot of duff. So I want to turn this up and I'm making a hole kind of straight back in. But I got to think about the fox being here too. So I'm kind of making a an RJ set. Uh, that the water can drain back. I'm going to save a little of that dirt right there. Let me chop out a trap bed. Now I'm using a MB550 here at this location. Jaw size is important in this zone. So I can't go with anything other than that, but that's okay. For this type of a set, a 550 will work just fine. It's really the tree roots that I'm having to break up, guys. Hear that rock? Anyway, that's what you're getting into. Let me see if I can just scoop some of this up. Set it on the side. A lot 
lot of roots, which is good. There are a lot of grass roots. That's good. I'm going to take my hammer and chop out me a trap bed. Let me put it in my stake driver here. Looks good. There we go. Let me set it. Good. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. Here we are. Got my trap. Let me use a uh, a plastic bag for a pan cover. Nice. All right. Now I brought with me some sand. Uh. Just, uh, it's, just, it's dry. Something there I can bed in. Sand, not, nice thing about sand is it really, uh, Packs nice underneath your trap, making your trap solid. Kind of being in this peat makes it a little bit less. So let me go ahead and get my uh, sifter here. And let's cover a little bit with some sand. Don't need a whole lot, but... Okay. That trap ought to fire now. Find my pan. Make sure it's solid. If it's not, we don't go away. dress this set up a little bit something I want to do is tell them where I don't want them to step so let's go over here to the dog side and stick a, a little old twig in having them stop a little bit short if it makes you feel better do another one don't step here I have all that Go ahead and put some of this. And dress the set up. I think I got it. Let's pull this up a little bit from the bottom just to tell them not to step right there. If you need to, go ahead and stick a... Well, that, that came out of that. But stick you something back there in the back to kind of get them to stop. Stop short. And uh, I think we got it pretty well. That set looks pretty good. And um, it's got some natural guiding and it's got some showmanship to it. Nice and black. Um, I, I like the area that I'm in. 
I'm gonna pack this stuff up and let's go ahead if I don't do it we're gonna forget it right next is last but not least is the bait and lure I'm gonna use my uh, there's my trap right there I went back to the truck I'm gonna stick it in the bag the, uh, use my Flint Hills Red Fox paste bait down in the hole it's got a lot of cat attraction to it I'm gonna use some of my Martin call here it's got a lot of cat attraction to it and there's one other lure I want to use and I'm going to use some of my feline finalizer at the set and I'm going to smear that that will be perfect I'm going to smear that just up here get that cat interested in it it's good for mountain lions and such now I don't let's go ahead and grab a little bit of this grass don't need be much and let's just kind of cover it up a little bit keep the raptors out and also keep myself legal so that's my set kind of a modified rj really nice in a beaver location i actually kind of have a trail coming here and i got a beaver pond behind me uh looks like a great cat location good chance i might get a fisher in here as well so we'll see